Yesterday, the 13th of October 2022, REV stock Revlon Inc. gained at some point in that session 40%. In this, for this last trading session, the session on the 14th of October, it lost 14.35%. And in this post market session of the same day, it is up 2.67%. Actually, 6% as a matter of fact, it just spiked up right now, you know. And we haven't really found any news concerning REV. It is just that it is. This is talk that uh, is uh, you know on the brink of, of uh, bank bankruptcy has that has been the case for some time now and uh, and also um, there's also a relatively uh, tangible amount of short interest against it. The short interest is around 25.12 percent, and the off exchange uh, short volume is uh, 20, 52.92. So. You know, some market participants add those two figures. If you add that up, you get more than seventy-seven percent, or thereabout, more than seventy-seven percent uh, of uh, of short interest. If you, if you, if you really wish, if you may, you know. So, yes, as I said earlier on in that session, in the session of yesterday, the fourteenth, it gained at some point fourteen forty percent, reaching around five point five five dollars at some point in that session but um it has since uh, cooled off in this regular in this post in this in this last trading session the session of the 14th you know so but look at this look at this look at this look at this you know note that the price of uh, rev is uh, 4.22 dollars but look at this some of unusual up to option activity occurred for the 35 dollar strike for january 20th for january of uh January 20th, 2023, you can see that the open interest we have here for the 35 strike, that is, I didn't say $3.5 strike, the $35 strike is, look at that, a whopping 84,137 contracts. This is not the volume, it is the open interest. As a matter of fact, the volume for this session, it was probably the most, it had the highest of them all. It had the most, it had the most, um, it had the uh, largest volume for that, uh, series for that for the january 20 series 4994 and it doesn't look that expensive as such you can see that 35 this it is going to cost it's, it's only going to cost you 35 dollars to get involved with this uh this contract so you can see that unusual op option activity it's 4137 something is going on there there's a there is an anomaly there you can see that you can see that you know normally you would um expect the stock okay it's okay well yes it should be the case yes it's out of the money so y yes it makes sense for it to be uh, that's uh, cheap I guess you know but uh, is there something they know that we don't know okay let's let's you know get closer let's get closer to let's look at the uh, more recent uh, these this these are the ones that expired today what do we have there do we have anything in that sort of level let's see let's see the 35 there's no 35 on this one or do i need to expand more okay let's look at um, november let's see november 18 let's see whether there's anything there november 18 is there any 35 strike there there's no 35 it's only 19 okay well what is certain is that um there is some sort of um uh, there is some sort of um, optimism, you know, from market participants. There's no doubt about it. As you can see, uh, nineteen dollar has, you know, it's a reasonable amount of um, uh, open interest. There, you can see the seven dollars was seven fifty, you know. But the, that the, the most the clearly the clear uh, uh, clearly standing out one is this thirty five dollar strike. The thirty five dollar strike, you know, with this eighty four thousand. 137 open interests and uh, that is uh, 84,137 open interest that is contracts so you multiply that by 100 you get the number of shares we're talking about here up to 8.4 million shares if exercised so uh, is it can one conclude that market participants are pricing a move towards $35 well just going by what it is you could say that you could say that you know but in any case we have been able to project a move above what it, what it printed yesterday, the 13th, a move towards uh, $5.87. You know, yesterday it reached uh, 
you know so that's our projection 5.87 you know let's even let's see what whether there's any sort of uh, let's see what the nature of that okay so the five dollar strike has uh, okay it's yeah it's the stock is not that far away from uh, five dollars so it's not going to be out of place to have a, re a reasonable amount of open interest in that sort of direction concerning REV so short interest is uh, 25.12 if you want to add the off exchange short volume which is 52.92 you have a figure that is around 77 percent if that is okay you know but um there's a skepticism you know uh, the stock is going uh, it's facing bankruptcy and restructuring so um short sellers have been circling it you know it's trying to take advantage of it and uh, see the, see what they can make out of it but um they have also locked up money into the stock they've locked up money into the stock that is um 25 percent of its market cap and that's a reasonable a reasonable amount of money in there you know so um if you if if you're not uh, a big fan of the company if you're not uh, uh if you're not uh, uh, positive about its um about its uh, fundamentals you know you know the fact that it has uh 25 percent of its ma of its market cap locked into it is definitely uh, uh one reason to keep observing what's going on with it you know so i'm not uh, encouraging you to buy a rev stock you know you know um it's just that it has uh, this you know he a healthy amount of uh, short interest and a lot of other market participants participants will be following it and be will be observing what's going on with it you know so our target once again is at 5.87 for rev so see what you make of it and uh, thank you very much for watching this video